My name is Delilah Hansen. I'm 32 years old, and I live alone. Ugh, come on! I do not like the color red. I have never had a cavity. All right, once. Oh no. Mr. Whiskers? Wait, I don't have a cat. I am a therapist. Uh, Miss, uh, <clears throat> sorry, Dr. Hansen, you're late again. I know, you would not believe the traffic today. <clears throat> oh yeah, and I lied. Sorry, my alarm didn't go off this morning. It's fine. I'm not making the best impression, am I? Dr. Hansen, or Delilah if you prefer. Parker. You like elephants or something? <laughs> what didn't you see about elephants? Uh, my mom had a thing for elephants. Do you have a close relationship with your mom? Uh, my mom could be hard sometimes. But I know it was just because she wanted the best for me. My dad wasn't very emotional, but he was supportive, I guess. What about you? What about your parents? Um, my father left us, so I never really knew him. Well, I'm sorry. Um, and what about your mom? My mom? Mm-hmm. Um, she's dead. I'm really sorry to hear that. You don't really like attention, do you? <sighs> At night, it's quiet. Because at the end of the day, Lying is lonely. Some days, I wish I could stop. Other days, I know I never will. Mondays, am I right? Parker's waiting for you in your uh, office. What? Oh, this? <laughs> it's a pretty funny story, actually. Uh, I was sleeping, and then I fell off my bed, and my eye just collided with the corner of my bedside table. <laughs> so embarrassing. Mondays are not my day, let me tell you. I'm so glad you're here again, Parker. Uh, so... What's been on your mind lately? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I just didn't expect... Did something happen? Oh, yes. Uh, I'm fine. Just clumsy. 
<laughs> I was making dinner in my kitchen when I went into the living room, you know, to grab the TV remote. And I dropped it, so I bend down to pick up the remote, and I, my eye just hits the corner of the coffee table. Ugh, I still have not been able to look at that coffee table the same way ever since. Anyways, we're here to talk about you. Is that really what happened? Uh, as sad as it is, yes. It just seems like a pretty bad bruise for hitting it on a coffee table. Aren't I supposed to be the one asking the questions here? I, I just think it would help me open up if I knew. Would it make you more comfortable if the coffee table were a fist? If I were in a bad relationship or had an abusive relative, would that make you more comfortable? You don't have to be embarrassed. But what's more embarrassing? That I would be so clumsy or that I would allow myself to stay in such a relationship? Oh. Same time next week? Sure, yes. Do you think Dr. Hansen is a clumsy person? Just like, in general. Um, what? Would you ever describe her as clumsy? No, well, I don't think so. Exactly. That woman could run a marathon in heels. There's no way that bruises from the coffee table. I don't know what she's afraid of. Of course, in this heteronormative society, you would assume I was seeing a man. <laughs> but I guess it doesn't matter either way, does it? Could she be afraid of, right, Parker? <sighs> now, I'm not saying that never happened. I've had an encounter with an angry ex or two. But that was years ago. So maybe I didn't hit my head on the coffee table. And maybe I didn't get punched by some crazy ex. But I just want to let this whole thing go. I like my quiet, boring life. I have nothing to be afraid of. I, uh, hope you don't mind. Um, no. Not at all. So, how was your week? It was fine. That bad, huh? Well, it started out fine. You know, once we had our meeting and we talked about everything and you gave me those new coping mechanisms, I felt super confident, but then I went to work and everything just shattered. Because, you know, nobody really cares there. And, and, you know, I try and I try, but there's just something about your boss. It's the essence of you. existence itself. Understanding the brain and how people are the way they are is, is more important to humankind than, than advancing technology or trying to improve the genetic structure by manufacturing the perfect human. Because humans are inherently not perfect. But that's what makes us so interesting. What am I telling you that for? You actually get it. <laughs> this is some of the most brilliant writing I've seen in a long time. 
I don't know about that. Well, seriously. Seriously, your level of thinking is far more advanced than anyone that I've ever taught in undergrad. You know, some, some confidence would make you a very attractive woman. And I know that you, you say it's to make me more productive and it's to help me, but I, I, I don't know. It's just really hard. Oh, uh, well, that's actually all the time that we have. Um, but I actually have an assignment for you to complete before we meet next. So I want you to think of any important male role models from your past. Um, you know, write down their name and then write down anything that they said that really stuck with you. Um, and just repeat that out loud and then I want you to burn it. Okay. Yeah, and then we'll just talk about that experience. Cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Charles, let me guess, Judy again. Charge for what? Not all lying is bad. A professor of mine once told me, sometimes you have to stretch the truth in order to find the truth. And of course, anything can be proven with confidence. about the girls. Look, I just wanted you to know first, before the lawyers get involved. Give me that. We only get one life. One moment to make an impression. And I've learned that first impressions are everything. Although honesty is important, Sometimes it's less about the cold, hard facts. It's more about creating an honest feeling. Because facts are overrated. And who's to say what's true and what's not? I'm not sure I believe in an absolute truth. <laughs>